Breaking news this hour, a White House official tells CNN that President Trump has authorized the release of that highly controversial House Republican memo about the Russia investigation. The FBI still says it has grave concerns about the memo, which CNN is told, alleges agency abuse with the secret surveillance warrant process. I want to get straight to CNN's Jeff Zeleny at the White House. Jeff, what can you tell us? Dana, good afternoon. We do know that President Trump has indeed signed the order to declassify this House Republican memo that he has been studying and reading for the last several days. He just spoke about this a few moments ago in the Oval Office at the end of another event. We'll be hearing from that shortly, but he did talk about what he's been talking about for days now, what he believes the bias in the top ranks of the FBI against him. Of course, this all goes back to the Trump campaign, the beginnings of the Russia investigation. He is making the argument that the FBI was biased against him in their application for a FISA warrant, for a wiretapping warrant essentially here. So this House memo, again, a partisan document written by House Republicans, is going to be released later today. It is being, a word is being sent from here at the White House over to uh, Capitol Hill and the Speaker's office to have that three and a half page memo released that will uh, go into at least some detail, again, from the perspective of, of supporters of the president here about that warrant. But, Dana, we should also point out there are no redactions to this memo. For the last several days, uh, there have been uh, big considerations, big discussions here underway if this memo would be changed in some respect to ease some concerns of the FBI. As you'll remember, the FBI director said he had grave concerns about this. They said it was a national security risk. We are told by a White House official this morning there will be no redactions to this memo. So it will be released as it was written by the committee here. So, Dana, this is really setting up and you know, escalating an already uh, pretty major confrontation, a very major confrontation with the president and his Justice Department and his hand-picked FBI director. Now, the fallout from this, we will have to uh, see how that develops. Also, Rod Rosenstein, of course, the person, the deputy attorney general who is supervising special counsel Bob Mueller's investigation here, he is uh, also uh, mentioned in this memo uh, likely here. So what will his fate be? So, Dana, many shoes left to drop and fall on this. Important that we keep this in a perspective and context here. This is one slice of the... Russia investigation, the main one, special counsel Bob Mueller's, of course, continues. But the president believes that this discredits that investigation. It's one of the reasons he signed off on the declassification of this memo. Brianna. It sure is. I mean, Dana, it, excuse me. It, no problem, Jeff. It, it, it sure is. And I should tell you that we are waiting to hear from the president in Indeed. less than a minute. So stay with me while we wait for sure. that, uh, while we th wait for that tape. You mentioned, oh, here we go. Let's listen to the president. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. I think, the, I think it's terrible. You want to know the truth? I think it's a disgrace. What's going on in this country, I think it's a disgrace. The memo was sent to Congress. It was declassified. Congress will do whatever they're going to do. But I think it's a disgrace what's happening in our country. And when you look at that, and you see that, and so many other things, what's going on, uh, a lot of people should be ashamed of themselves, and much worse than that. So I sent it over to Congress. They will do what they're going to do. Whatever they do is fine. It was declassified. And let's see what happens. But a lot of people should be ashamed. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You, you figure that one out. I don't think so. These are just great people that have suffered incredibly. There were many, many others like them that have suffered so much. And they were here, and I said, let's, uh, let's tell your story very quickly. We have others in a different room, as I told you, that are really petrified to be here. Petrified. So it's, it's tough stuff. It's tough stuff. Well, we're doing a lot. Uh, we've done more than uh, — I mean, we have many administrations that should have acted on this a long time ago. When uh, — when it wasn't at this kind of a — when we weren't in this kind of a position. You know, we ran out of road. You know the expression. The road really ended. They could have done it 12 years ago. They could have done it 20 years ago. They could have done it four years ago and two years ago. We have no road left. 
So we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, we'll get through the Olympics, and maybe something good can come out of the Olympics. Who knows? Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Do you still have confidence in the Rosenstein Minister? Thank you very much, everybody. I better not get involved. <laughs> That was President Trump moments ago talking about the fact that he has formally, officially declassified this controversial House Republican Intelligence Committee memo, told that committee that they are free to release it to the public, which they have made clear they are going to do. And in fact, we are waiting. That could happen any moment now. And while we wait for that, I want to bring in our team who has been covering this for months and months and months uh, and been breaking a lot of news on it. Let's bring in CNN's crime and justice reporter Shimon Prokupes, CNN's chief political analyst Gloria Borger, Nia Malika Henderson, CNN's senior political reporter and CNN political director David Talley. And also I want to say that in New York we have CNN legal analyst Michael Zeldin. Thanks for joining me, Michael. Let's start here around the table first and foremost about those comments we just heard from the president. Gloria talking very specifically and very openly, like he did on Twitter this morning, mm -hmm. uh, uh, accusing his own DOJ, Department of Justice, his own FBI, of being political. Right. It's a disgrace, mm -hmm. he said. What's going on is a disgrace. And so I think what you, what you may see in this memo are Republicans claiming that, uh, that somebody, Carter Page, was under surveillance because of politics and that uh, the whole dossier was the rationale, which the president hates, of course, was the rationale for the surveillance. And this is a way for the, for the president, Dana, to discredit uh, the Mueller investigators mm -hmm. and thereby, without directly poking his finger in Bob Mueller's eye, discredit uh, the special counsel. So what he's done is he sent this to Capitol Hill now. It will be released. It is in the process of being released. And the whole purpose of it is to discredit the top echelon of the FBI who approved uh, this surveillance. And, and, and we really should, as we're waiting, and, and we are, just forgive me for looking at my phone, we're, we're, <laughs> we're uh, <laughs> reporting and, uh, and, and, and talking to you on TV real time here. Uh, but, Shimon, the, it's very, very important to underscore as we get this memo and as we go through it, the real deal here, which is it is a highly political memo. It is just done by the Republicans on the Intelligence Committee, which breaks with precedent for this committee, which is generally an oasis of nonpartisanship, never mind bipartisanship. Um, and that is why your sources at the FBI and DOJ are, are, are upset, right? Because they think certainly. it's just cherry-picked. Correct. And certainly they've been bracing for this now all morning uh, with news that this is now coming. Uh, and we will see how they react once it comes out. But this has been their central, central issue with this in that it is extremely one-sided, that it does not paint the full picture uh, of what the FBI was doing and, and the intelligence that they were gathering and the work that they were doing. Uh, and so their concern has been is, is that this is just going to show a one-sided uh, one sided sort of way this investigation was going, thereby making it seem political, uh, discrediting FBI agents who have spent months now, perhaps more than a year, working on this case. Uh, and because really the FBI can't talk about this, they can't talk about FISA material, they can't really defend themselves. So that, the only, their only defense was that statement, and that was obviously a stunning statement. And as we wait to see uh, this memo, which is three and a half pages, it's not, uh, it's not very long, uh, I want to read to you what Senator John McCain, who's the chairman of the Armed Services Committee in the Senate, uh, has said via statement. He is back in Arizona dealing with treatment uh, for cancer, but he is uh, speaking out, and here's what he said. He said just now, the latest attacks on the FBI and the Department of Justice serve no American interests, no parties, no presidents, only Putin's. The American people deserve to know all the facts surrounding Russia's ongoing efforts to subvert our democracy, which is why special counsel Mueller's investigation must proceed unimpeded. Our nation's elected officials, including the president, must stop looking at this investigation through the warped lens of politics and manufacturing partisan sideshows. If we continue to undermine our own rule of law, we are doing Putin's 
job for him. That is some strong stuff, David Talian. It sure is, and thank you, John McCain, for bringing this back to what this is actually about. What there it's was supposed an attack to be about. on our democracy. That's actually what where this all stemmed from. I have a feeling uh, if John McCain heard the president's word, he might think uh, disgraced or people that should be ashamed of themselves uh, should apply elsewhere, not where Donald Trump is applying it. Uh, here, here's uh, the reality. Gloria's talking about this, this effort to discredit the Mueller investigation, which is clearly what this is about. The, to Donald Trump, this is, but that's a months long effort. And this is another data point for him. But it, what he is missing here is, to Shimon's point, the severity of what you do when you are saying to your law enforcement agencies that you should be ashamed of yourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that, this, this isn't just another data point, should not be just another data point in Donald Trump's efforts to discredit. And by the way, the months long effort at discrediting the Mueller investigation is working. Yeah. It's working with Republicans. It's working to help muddy the waters as, as Donald Trump wants to. It puts everything in the Russia realm into this partisan lens that John McCain is oh, arguing. No, it, it, it should be. Well, no, 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 no. That's, 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 I'm just talking about the yeah, politics.